Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, what's up? So I'm back once again on my YouTube journey. Um, and I wanted to try to practice consistency more. Um, yes, but that's neither here or there. That will come in due time. So today while I was at work, I wanted to do like a wing stop. Um we ain't stopped for my YouTube channel today, but that didn't work out. So I decided to go with Sunny. Yes, we got Sunny for you all today. So I normally get the number four, and yes, I still got my receipt, y'all. <laughs> I got my receipt. So the number four meal is the bacon cheeseburger toaster. Um, that's with the bacon cheeseburger. I think you have like the meat, the cheese, the onion ring, um, tomatoes and pickles. I want to say with one tater tot large, one chili tater tot large. Um, with a coke and I had one small mozzarella stick. But y'all, I couldn't. Hold on any longer. My mozzarella sticks gone. <laughs> they gone. I was eating the mozzarella sticks on the way from work. So, yes. So, I have my chili cheese tots. And I have my bacon cheeseburger toaster. Y'all, let's appreciate how nice this sandwich is. Wow. Come through, Sonny. Come through. Let's appreciate the wrapping. Barely want to take it out. Barely want to take it out. But yes. So, anyway. Today was pretty good. Like I said, I had to work this morning. Um, go to my job. So, now I'm off uh, for a day and a half. So, let's see what's all on that comes on the sandwich. So... You have the toaster bread. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have the pickles, tomatoes, the bacon, the cheese. Y'all want my cheese hanging like that? Okay, <laughs> that's neither here or there. And you have the meat on another toaster bread. So hopefully everything is good like normal. But let's say my grace. All right, let's eat. <clears throat> so, how was you all day on today? Hope everything went well for you all. Hope you had an amazing day. Um, I truly did. Like I said, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to let go of the complaining and. Just trying to appreciate every day in life because it's a lot going on, and so complaining is out the window for me. Um, so you're gonna barely catch me complaining about you know what's going on, even if I had a rough day, I still try to bring out the positive in it because it's somebody out there that's. Um, worse than I am, and I'm still healthy, still got my moving limbs, so I try not to complain about my day as far as the day it goes. But, like I said, hopefully, you all had a wonderful day, and everything was good, y'all. Chili cheese hot sauce the bone. Pretty good. So anyway, I wanted to bring up my favorite um cartoon movie. Cause I think I want to start doing like story time. So I wanna bring up my favorite cartoon movie. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you all have seen it. But, y'all, I love, 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 love 
the princess in the frog. I love the princess in the frog, y'all. <clears throat> the princess in the frog. Um, and the reason why I love it so much is because I feel as though it has like a how should I put it? It has like a calming a calming um feeling to it, if that makes sense. You know, with a lot of action movies. It's like sitting on the edge of your seat trying to see what's going to happen next. Drama. A lot of emotions are placed into it. Comedy. If it's funny. You're going to laugh most of the time. So, I just feel as though um, the Princess in the Frog has that calming sense to where if I need to calm down through the day and just relax and I need to relax some movies, something to ease my mind. Princess in the Frog is definitely one of the movies that I feel is going to help me out. Also, the reason I love The Princess in the Frog is because Tiana. Tiana is very hardworking. She, she, she works hard at anything she does. Very ambitious. Go after what she wants. And... Of course, her dad died because she had a mom and her dad when she was younger, like I did. Um, and, of course, her dad died when she was little. But she didn't let that stop her. She kept that momentum going um, as she got older. She kept it in her heart. Like, she kept her dad close to her heart. Like, she had his picture. Like, I think he was in the Army, if I'm not mistaken. So, she had a picture of him when he was in the Army. And she kept that momentum going. And so, um, Tiana's dad, he always wanted a restaurant. So, I think they were supposed to be opening a restaurant together. And when she got older or something, um, like trying to get their own little family restaurant. But, like I said, he passed on. So, Tiana wanted to keep that dream alive. And when she was younger... Everybody came to one of the scenes. Everybody, Tiana made gumbo, and I think that's I don't know if that's popular in New Orleans, um, for real, but everybody came to Tiana's house like that was all family when she made that gumbo. And one man said he bought he bringing hush puppies. <laughs> I don't know what hush puppies got to do with gumbo because I only saw hush puppies with. Um, fish and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I like the way Tiana, like I said, was very respectful. Um, she kept her dream alive, her dad dreams alive, even though he has passed. And Along in the movie, she met quite a dilemma. She met some obstacles. Mm. One of the obstacles was and distraction. Prince Naveen. Prince Naveen. Who oh, child? He was full. <laughs> Prince Naveen was full. Well. It's because that's what he was used to. When he grew up, that's how Prince of Man was used to. Somebody take care of him, somebody washing his clothes, somebody probably feeding him, doing all of his chores. He He's not being responsible for nothing. And that's not how Tiana grew up. So, I think Prince Naveen and his uh, servant or whoever the little short guy was, they went to the little voodoo man, the little shadow man. And trying to get what they want out of life real quick and not work for it like Tiana did, it backfired on them. And the little man, he didn't want to do it. He was like, mm -mm, I don't feel like something, something wrong. So, Prince Naveen convinced him to go ahead and try to make sure the shadow man, you know, get him what he wants in his dream. But basically, Child, 
turned the bean got turned to a frog. And a little short little guy was walking around as Prince Levine. But throughout the movie, you can tell he went Prince Levine because his features, like his body features kept changing. So, anyway. So, she met Prince Levine. Like, Prince Levine said he, he finally realized he messed up when he met, met the Shadow Man. He turned into a frog. And so, when he met Tiana at her best friend party, he was trying to get Tiana to get him a kiss so he could turn back into a human. Unfortunately, that didn't work. Prince Naveen turned Tiana into a frog. Pro Tiana. Pro Tiana. So, that's one dilemma. Second dilemma is, I feel it was a lot of, not dilemma so much, but I feel it just, it was a lot of distractions. Um, maybe the little alligator animal, I think his name was Lewis. Lewis was kind of scared of the, um, I think Mama Odie, the little... I don't know, the little spell lady. He was kind of scared of her, I believe. So, y'all, why he took Prince Naveen and Tiana on, on the wrong route until they met Ray? Anyway, <laughs> so, Louis, another distraction. Because Tiana trying to, baby, she trying to get to this restaurant. She not, she trying to, for one, she trying to become a human again. Now she trying to get her restaurant to go on. Prince uh, Naveen and Louis want to just do whatever and hold her back, you know, from going into being a human and uh, trying to get her restaurant. And so, Ray was like, who's taking y'all on the wrong route? You know, like, and I feel like I'm Ray because I'm like... Y'all want to go on a certain route to Mama Odie to try to become human again. But I'm going to need y'all to talk to the person that taking y'all on the wrong route because something ain't right. So, yeah. So, finally when they met Ray, they started going on the right direction. They met Mama Odie. And she was telling them what to do to become human again. Apparently, they weren't getting it still. So, she kind of put her head down like, yeah, I did all that work for nothing. <laughs> she was like, I did all that work for nothing, baby. So, after they went to Mama Odie, they um was still on their journey. But while on their journey, Prince Naveen was starting to warm up to Tiana because at first, he was like, you're a spoil, um... He was like, you yeah, something he said. And then she was like, you're spoiled little rich kid, I think. And so, finally when Prince Naveen actually saw that how hard Tiana would like to have her restaurant. And how hard of a woman she really was. I think he, that's when he started falling in love and pushing physical for Tiana. Because he was going to marry her best friend at first. And so... They went on this boat ride uh, to try to still get to, you know, back to where they came from. And while on the boat ride, that's when Prince Levine made like this little special dinner for him and Tiana. Got a little nut and got some little twig or something to make a ring. He like an engagement ring or something. I don't know, y'all. This is Jay Princess in the Frog. I'm just... Telling the story, okay. So, got the little nut to um make the engagement room. So, when he was getting ready to, I guess, propose to her, all she kept talking about was her restaurant. She went talking about nothing else, which I could feel where she coming from because, like I said, Tiana's a hardworking woman, and that's what she grew up on—a hard work. Because when the movie first came on, she had two jobs. 
Like, Tiana went going to splurge her money here and there every time she got paid. Clothes, shoes, and just been on anything. Tiana had like 20 little cans of her own draw to save money. <laughs> so, she was really working hard to get her restaurant. So, anyway, when he started that she was worried about the restaurant, he just put the little engagement ring up. And they rolled a little night away, I guess. <laughs> so, he finally came to back, back to their little city of their hometown, or when it first started out there. And impersonating Prince Marine, the fake Prince Marine, Naveen, not Marine, Naveen, he was getting ready for the parade. And so, um, he was he had to get on top of the cake and act like he was the prince and try to marry Charlotte. Charlotte was rich, y'all. I think Prince Naveen and at first Prince Naveen and Charlotte belonged together. Charlotte LaBeouf. I think they belonged together at first because they both were rich as fool. She only the only one that knew what hard work was and accomplishing goals because that's how she grew up on. So Ray when he found out that Prince Naveen the Frog I think they had got Prince Naveen like the little ghost or something had took Prince Naveen off the boat, snatched him away and put him like in a little box. Ray found him I think him and Tiana was trying to get him out of the box. And the little necklace that the impersonated Prince Naveen had, which is a little short band. Somehow they took the they got this snatched the necklace off his neck and was throwing it around. And Tiana was the last person to catch it. So the shadow man was basically showing Tiana like, hmm, you want all of this and you want your restaurant, you want to become human again, I can give you all that, only if you just give my necklace back. But, Tiana was smarter than that. Tiana threw the necklace down, and the little ghost, they picked it up and got to the shadow man. He was like, you should have never done that. And so, somehow, um, I forgot how the shadow man... Um, oh, when he they, when they threw it, the little necklace down, the shadow man was in trouble because he promised the uh, ghosts or something souls, or he promised them something. And y'all, I don't believe in voodoo. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't do none of that. I don't believe in none of that. I don't take part in none of that. But I'm just telling y'all the story. So, um. Yeah, Tiana threw the necklace down, and he got in trouble with the ghost. And as he got in trouble with the ghost, they sucked him alive, and he became like a burial stone or, you know, I don't know, Dr. Faciliator or something on his stone. So, after that happened, um, before he got sucked alive... The shadow man had stepped on Ray. Lewis came back to find prison of Van Tiana. It was over with. Ray died. So, anyway, long story short, get to the end, because I know y'all tired. But, get to the end. Um, Charlotte was trying to give Prince Naveen a kiss so he could return, come back human again. But, Prince Naveen was not in love with Charlotte. Because the entire movie, he spent his every waking moment with Tiana. And they was truly in love. So, after him and Tiana met back up, she saw when Charlotte was trying to kiss him and she felt some type of way. And I know she felt some type of way because she been with that man ever since they were found. 
She didn't like him at first because he was annoying. But she caught feelings for him while they was on their little journey. She hopped on around. And he was like, I'm trying to um, do this for you so I can get you your restaurant. The restaurant the restaurant that you always talked about. The restaurant that you always wanted. So, after him and Tiana kiss, they kiss they stuff until him. <laughs> and after they became human, they got married. So, Tiana was happy. She got her man. And she built her restaurant. A restaurant of her dream. Her dad's the night away, little happy ever after. Y'all, why Charlotte asking Chris Levine, little brother, how old he is? I think the little boy said he's six. Charlotte, you desperate? <laughs> but she was like, well, I waited this long. Okay, Charlotte, by the time you probably 40 song, he probably gonna be in his 20s. I'm gonna need you to sit on down and have several seats. But that's the princess in the fall. And like I said, if you also saw the princess in the fall and you liked it, let me know. Comment down below. But yes, y'all, this my favorite cartoon movie. And I plan on doing more story times along with the vlogs on my channel. But I just wanted to get that out there. So I feel like this movie have like a great meaning behind it whatever you want y'all success don't come easy work hard at it speaking to myself because i want success with this youtube whatever business i walk into i would like to have success and that's just how i feel it's not easy and it's not comfortable. I, I think y'all gonna learn that that's one of my favorite lines. Working hard for something is not comfortable. <clears throat> so, you gotta get come out of your comfort zone. You gotta do what it takes to reach your goals. I want better. i never been in the worst boat. I grew up good, had it all, and I still want better. Better for me, better for my kids and family, and so I'm doing what it takes to reach success. And I feel that's one of the deeper meanings that the princess and the for all have. Tiana did whatever it, it took to reach her goal and she wanted to show everybody that you know whatever life throws at you is not easy but you can get through it you can work through it and it will become easy to get to where you want to be in life if, if that makes sense and so I'm not going to hold y'all up any longer. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed story time with me. I know it was long, but y'all want to tell a story. <laughs> and I think I'm going to have more story time while eating as well. Um, I definitely enjoyed telling the story. Um, So, hopefully, y'all comment down below your favorite cartoon movie or just your favorite movie, period. Because I feel like everybody have, everybody have that inner child feel. You can front all day long like you don't but i feel like you do anyway go subscribe to my channel like comment and i hope everybody have a wonderful rest of the day